Yo, 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 what it do? It's the King Three Stacks to the Max. It's grind time, shine time. Get your bank up, get your rank up. With that being said, they dropped the new Masters of the Universe Revelation trailer yesterday. So, you know, I did a little video about it. I talked about it or whatever. But the thing I want to talk about today is the extra characters that we've seen that wasn't in part one. Now, when we first got the first half of Revelation, I was like, where the hell are the rest of the characters at? So that is one thing that I was blowed about, was going to make a video about it. But I've seen a couple of more of them in the part two trailer. But anyway, let's talk about these potential toys that could be made out of these characters. So we've seen Ram Man. We seen Buzz Off, we seen Stratos, we seen Goat Man, we seen Webster. So I'm thinking those are potential action figure releases as Fisto only had one second in the first um part of the series and he's getting an action figure, but it looked like he getting a little bit more playtime in the second half. But yeah, let's talk about Ram Man. Now, Ram Man looks to be huge on this series, so I wonder at what price point would they have him. It's going to have to be between Skeletor God and Battle Cat because dude is huge, and if they plan on giving us a toy, I hope they make it huge. I hope they make it bigger and better than the classic one. The classic one was cool and big and all that, but I really want to see him tower over He-Man and the rest of the Masters, so that's that. Then old Buzz off, you know, cool Bumblebee that everybody like with the translucent yellow wings and a little hat that go on the top. So we also could get one of him so ain't no thing i know we gonna get all the characters that they show because it just wouldn't be the masters of the universe with just making half of the characters so stratos was a pretty cool character with his wings or whatever so you know he was also in there so i'm speculating we're gonna get one of him too and the bad guys webster you know i was thinking about getting the classes one but i'm glad i hold off would have been putting my foot in my mouth, so, you know, he's gonna look cool in a Revelation style figure, and, oh, Goatman, Goatman was really a surprise, you know, I would have never expect them to put him up in there, but, hey, a Goatman, so, I speculate we'll get that get up of the evil end with that bat on her head, so, I mean, she is the new dark sorceress look, like, She's going to be Skeletor Sorcerer, so it seems to be. But yeah, Clawful was in the first, and Spike R was also in the first, so we got a Spike R, so we need a Clawful. So, um, and I'm willing to bet we probably get some vehicles in this Masterverse line, so can't wait to see what the first one will be. Seems like Mattel is going all out with this Masters of the Universe Revelation Masterverse line. So far, I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. Except, damn, Scareglow was made an exclusive. But before I could talk some shit, they redeemed themselves by releasing it in a regular wave. So, right now, I don't have nothing to say. So, I hope they keep it up. So, all the people who talk about well I ain't gonna even go there but anyway you guys tell me what you think y'all think we gonna get potential toys out of these characters that they shown in the part 2 trailer so y'all leave a like and a comment this is the King 3 Stacks I'm gonna be out in peace